What's, uh, what was the takeaway from, from yesterday coming into today here? I mean, just uh, trying to put together a game tomorrow and give ourselves our chance against it. I mean, that's, that's the biggest thing. You know, you watch film, you see the areas that you, know, you can improve on, but you also have to give, give credit to them. Obviously, they're, they played well last game, and, uh, you know, they're going to get one on the road. Is that the best you've seen from them all, all series? I don't know if it's necessarily the best. Obviously, you know, anytime, anytime you lose, you know, you see things that you can do better, but uh, you know, they play well. What did stand out to you in uh, kind of rewatching film today? I mean, offensive rebounds and turnovers. I mean, those those are the big things. I mean, anytime we're going to turn the ball over that much um, and then get stops and then get them offensive rebounds, you know, a team like that, they're going to make you pay. You know, seeing an extra shot going for Clay or Steph or them getting an extra layup, it just gives them life. What do you feel like was causing those turnovers? A lot of them were just unforced on our end, just playing in the crowd, um, not realizing that they're going to they're gonna load up in zone, so we just have to just be smart and about our, our kickouts. The, the second chance stuff aside, um, they, they shot, I think, close to 70% on twos throughout most of the game. Just what can you guys do defensively to, to keep them from getting to the rim as easily as they did? Do a better job of keeping the ball in front. I think it starts there, but also just, and I realize they're the active cutting team. You know, they're getting a lot of uncontested layups, especially on the weak side. So, you know, for us, we just have to do a better job of um, just protecting our paint. What confidence do you have knowing that it's a game six, win or go home for you guys? And I like that. You almost said game seven. I like that. It's good. It's good energy. Uh, you know, for us, I think, um, especially because we're a younger group, I think, you know, guys are ready to play. Um, you know, we have a, a short-term memory. I think that overall the energy um, and the looseness is, is appropriate for where we are. I think that you know, we're ready to play tomorrow. That desperation, the back against the wall mentality. I mean, I know nothing compares to this, but do you have anything you can draw off of from earlier in the season? I don't know if it's necessarily anything you can draw from the earlier in the season because it's obviously hard to equate this type of situation there. But I think for us, you know, we know that when it's time for us to, you know, lock in, for us not for us to 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 be um, the team that we've shown, you know, in flash. I think you know, we've been able to do that consistently. Now, can we straight up together for 48 minutes tomorrow for? Uh, you know, a chance at Game Seven. You know, that's that's the challenge. But I think that we, we're more than capable. We've shown that we've done it in the series, and it's not about getting back to that. Look, there was so much talk about the experience gap between this team and, and the Warriors coming in. It's not over yet, obviously. But what, what are the the takeaways you think this team is learning going through this series and this process? I mean, just all the little things, right? I mean, obviously, we can go through and, and look at you know last three games. We can look at fourth quarter, or the last five minutes, and things like that. But there's so many other areas throughout. The majority of each of those games, right, that we can learn from and the guys in those situations. So I think for us, it's just you know, realizing how close we are um, to where we want to be, but also just locking into the to the mental to the mental areas, right? Because they're going to make they're going to make great shots. They're going to make tough plays. I mean, that's just that's just a part of who they are. But that's also part of playoff basketball. You look at just anybody who's playing in the league right now, right? You see great performances, but you know, can we withstand that to continue to do what we do? Have you seen moments for yourself where you, last night especially, where you go, oh, man, I wish I had that over again. I had wish could have been more aggressive on, on one end or the other. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is honestly just, just figuring out ways to um, to rebound more. I think that's, you know, when you look back at, for me personally, like when you look back at these last three games, you know, is there an extra opportunity you could have went to, you know, help Domas, uh, you know, on Looney or, you know, help, uh, Somebody, you know, find Gary Payton on the weak side, or just whatever it may be. I think that's that's an area where it's 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 literally just about uh, positioning, but just effort. You know what I mean? Like, can you make the extra effort to, to go find somebody? So, I think that's where I would uh, look back and say, I wish I would have been better. Keegan got outside. We saw Keegan have a huge first quarter. You had a big third quarter. Malik had a big fourth quarter. It feels like you guys are almost taking turns. Is, does there need to be a smoothing out of like, distributing? Shots and everything else throughout the game. Yeah, I mean that, that would be ideal. I mean, you know, King gets off to that great start, and I think as a group, you know, we have to do a better job of finding him, right? I mean, that should have been, a, you know, I don't know what number you want to put on it, but it should have been a very special game, right? Anytime you get ten points in eight minutes, you know, you're in a great rhythm. Um, you know, we as a group have to identify that and make sure that. Um, not just for him, but just anybody, you know, making sure that they're in the, the flow of the offense, getting steady touches, continuing to be a threat, right? Like, those are things that we can all feed off of. And, you know, I didn't think we did a good job uh, as a collective last night of uh, making sure, like I said, it was him specifically that night, but just in general, we're doing a good job of 
uh, capitalizing on What do you make of the last one? Three point shooting. I mean, you guys are shooting 30%. You guys are mm -hmm. 2 of 23 after the first. Is it fatigue? Is it the physicality? Or what, what, what are you noticing with the, with the shooting right now for this team? I think it's just we just got to focus on so shot selection. I mean, they're obviously going to, you know, they know we're a good shooting team. They're going to take away the three. But I think it's, it's shooting the shots that are open, but also being selective with the ones that we take. I mean, Anytime we're shooting contested threes, tougher threes, uh, that kind of plays into their hand, plays into their strategy, right? Like they want to make our shooters uncomfortable. So, uh, kind of going back to the to the keying question, you know, when we can get good looks and when we can get guys going, you know, that's when we have to kind of ride that that momentum and go from there. All right, appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.